All right, guys, welcome back to another episode. I thought that this would be the perfect time to make this video as I'm currently traveling at the moment. I'm training while I'm away and I'm working, but how on earth do I make it all fit? Okay, so I'm going to give you quick, a quick five tips to make sure that you train while you're traveling. So number one would be priorities. Okay, if it's not a priority to you, then you won't do it. So you need to make it a priority so that you do do it, okay? No matter, uh, out of any of the tips that I give, if it's not a priority, there's always gonna be a reason not to do it, okay? Number two would have to be sustainability. You guys have heard me say it a million times. If you train 10 times a week right now, that's gonna to be tough for you and your holiday schedule, okay? My ladies train mostly uh, three times per week. Part of the reason that they do this is because they can sustain that for 52 weeks of the year, no matter where they are, um, no matter what they're doing, Doing, okay they can find three days to fit their training in I have had ladies travel overseas for two months okay or maybe a week in Bali either way they have made time to fit their training in because it's three hours out of 168 hours in a week to train yeah all right number three is it the right time for a break? Okay, I know I just said 52 weeks a year, but if you've been training your absolute butt off and you're feeling depleted and maybe you're not recovering properly, sometimes a break can actually help your progress. By a break, I don't mean a month off, but maybe it's a week, you know, maybe just a deload week where you reduce your weights for 50% um, for the week, okay? Number four is accountability. Who are you accountable to? Do you have a coach or a partner or a training partner or someone other than yourself that you can be held accountable to? Okay, people that have coaches have a hundred times more progress than people that don't. And a good part of this is, is honestly, it's accountability. All right, lucky number five, lifestyle. And this has a lot to do with sustainability and consistency. If your lifestyle generally equals an all or nothing approach during the holidays, it's going to mean nothing, okay? Design your eating and your training, um, you know, even your recovery in such a way that it fits into your lifestyle. 95% of diets fail, and that's because the platform they're designed on is an all or nothing approach, okay? The same goes for eight week challenges. It's usually all in for eight weeks, then followed by nothing. If you can't see yourself maintaining what you're doing right now for the next 10 years, you're not going to stick to it. So I'm in Sydney for five days um, for work. I don't have any time to make this video, um, but I'm making it because it is a priority. Instead of the usual 10 or 15 minute video that I would do, it's shorter, there's less editing, and it's a sustainable approach. All right, guys, that's it. That's my top five tips for training while you're traveling. If you've got any questions, hit me up in the comments below. But until next time, have a great week.